I got to know much later because uh, I've always been my mom's baby. And uh, with three older brothers, very protective uh, brothers I have. And dad was never around, so never felt that he's not around. But yes, mom told me much later um, that dad didn't even come to see me when I was born. And in fact, I remember not mom, uh, some of my relatives came and told me that uh, he didn't even come to see you when you were born. And uh, I, I think um, he, after three boys, he was looking for another boy. Wow. Uh, because uh, like I said in my speech, they feel that they are the one who's, who are going to be a responsible children of the family and take care of the family and, and take care of them in their old age. Because by the time I realized this, I was already working. And uh, I was the one who was the only breadwinner of the family and taking care of the entire family. And there was a time where even my dad was dependent on my income. Wow. So uh, it was there for him to see that a woman is capable of everything. Uh, but yes, of course, uh, I haven't seen my dad in the last 27 years. And um, I don't feel the difference because I feel that a man who, who really did not rejoice the birth of a woman and not a daughter, but a woman, because he was born through a woman's womb. So he cannot understand a woman. It's his, uh, he, he is unfortunate about it. And I'm the fortunate one that I'm successful today. I broke the ice. Uh, my cases, when it come up, people wanted to speak about it. We were just fighting against aid. We were leading. And when you say it's not a great uh, thing, when you say that my country is right at the top, but for all the wrong reasons, it does not make you a very proud citizen. And I'm, I'm a very patriotic person. So for me, it was important that my country had spoken about, about all the positive things in life. So I did speak about AIDS and uh, how it's important that uh, if, if, and you cannot deny the fact that the man and woman do not indulge in premarital sex. Definitely. It definitely happens. So you have to protect yourself. But yes, th there was a group of uh, people yeah. who, who protested against me. Yes, I they are. So. People are so open about saying that I have a live-in relationship. And when you have a live-in relationship, you, you don't uh, have a holier-than-thou relationship. Uh, you, of course, have of course. A, a very normal couple uh, relationship where you do share a bed, you do have intercourse, you ha you do make love to each other. I have been in a uh, live-in relationship with my husband before I got married for five years. So, and I have been always open about it. Um, but when you look at the women today that how they get completely sucked in by the sweet sugar-coated talks of the men at times and then they come up, oh, I have been cheated and oh, I went through hell and this man has taken some videos and has taken some pictures. Now he is uh, trying to uh, blackmail me and okay, I, I am the unwedded mother. So I, I think to avoid all these things, a the woman has to be far more alert and say that I am me and when you say no, it's a clear no. But uh, people do not want to brush such topics under the carpet anymore. We are sitting and discussing on a public forum about right. this. That shows that we are not behind the four walls, any, behind the doors or within the four walls now.